this week on the Hoover Boys. Hi, Boots. What's going on here? 22, mostly? Yeah, 22, 23. Another debuckle? You're getting close to Bottle Cap Alley. I don't know, bro. <laughs> Come on, how about a copper? The little? Yeah. Or silver. Is that a silver? Uh -huh. You don't do laughing me. Uh -huh. <laughs> it is a silver, dude. Uh, right. <laughs> well, welcome to this week's episode of the Hoover Boys. Right now, I'm driving around looking for a permission by myself. Nobody here. Um, Mark is supposed to be free in a few hours, so my goal is to find us a place to dig today uh hopefully we get on a permission i guess we'll update you in a minute i hate when i say a minute and it's more like a second but i received the permission hopefully mark gets here sooner than later because this is my very first signal just popped up a 8081 signal on the max and i think i got me a copper very first hole <laughs> No doubt about it. And that's my very first copper of 2023. What could it be? I'm gonna guess some sort of colonial beeping like that or a drape boss, they beep in that range. Let me get two hands on it and we'll figure out what it is. Uh, the owner said the house is at least 200 years old. So <laughs> between that and this, I think it's gonna be a good day. First copper of the year, and we actually have an ID. This is a King George III. We are already in the 1770s. Reverse, not much going on there for the Britannia side. But KG3, just like that. Hopefully it is not the 32nd curse. Got me my first copper of the year. I have a feeling there's gonna be some more here. Well, I am glad to see one of these, a little mid 60s signal, and out flops a button. Oh, it's gold gilted. Bunch of gold gilt left on the reverse. <gasps> What's going on here? Is there something on there? No, I think it's just gold gilt. Thought it had a design or something. Looks like just a gold gilted flat button, but that's awesome. Because since the copper, I've gotten cancel, 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 bottle cap. I did get a weedy, and now I have a button. So we're moving in the right direction. Well, since my first button, I just stuck two more. Up to three flat buttons, and they all have shanks. That has to be some sort of good luck. I hope so. Three buttons. Well, the owner told me that before he bought the place, it was rented to a bunch of college students, and every time it rains, the entire field is full of beer cans, because apparently they didn't like to recycle. Um, since my buttons, to get the D, no day is not complete without the D. Picked up a few more buttons and I have another button here, it's beautiful. This thing is all kinds of guilted up. Wish the sun would come out and show how guilty it was. This thing's gonna be beautiful. I thought it was a two piece when it first popped out, but convex one piece button. It's not military, it's civilian, but that is a fancy button. Hopefully these people lost some silver and gold coins. This thing actually beeped like a coin. I almost live dug it, but I'll probably, unless it's an amazing signal where I think it's gonna be a silver or a big copper or something, I'll save the one hand live digs until Mark gets here. Hopefully we'll get something on live dig today. Great sign though. Oh boy. I just said, uh, it's, it's weird cussing when you're by yourself because you found something so good. This is probably gonna be one of my favorite finds of the year and we've only just begun. I have uh, got an update from Mark, he is on the way. I just got another you know, 62 signal here. I'm like, oh sweet, another button. I've got a good amount of buttons. I think this one's Rev War. <laughs> Was not expecting that one. It's a smaller button. This is right where I was sitting. You can see a little impression. I flipped it over, gave it a thumb swipe. Boom, anchor. That's gotta be a Rev War Navy button. It's gotta be. Let me uh, try to clean it up a little bit more. I don't know if it's gold gilted or not. I can almost see a letter or something above the anchor, but a little Rev War Navy anchor button. Holy cow. No doubt about it. Revolutionary War button. Relics like this do not come up often. That's why every single one of them is special. We find a lot of Civil War and every once in a while War of 1812, but to get Rev War anything is amazing. The thing I thought was a letter is just the chain that wraps around the anchor. 
I don't know if this is American. Something's telling me it's British Royal Navy. Could be French. I'm not 100% sure. Unfortunately, it does not have the shank, but that's okay. I wasn't expecting it because I haven't found the cuff button with an anchor on it. Absolutely an amazing find. My favorite find so far this year, but who knows where this year is going to take us. Um, it's too big to be a cufflink, so I do believe it was a cuff button. All right, Mark, it's your turn. You need to get here. <laughs> I'm content. What's up, camera B? What's going on? I see you're here. Show you a few things. I got a bunch of buttons out of the way for you. All right, what did I miss this morning? Uh, not too much. There's a copper. I think you'd like that button. Oh, yeah. Look yeah. at that. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of gold guilty on some of these buttons. <sighs> That's beautiful. You're going you're gonna to like that one when you flip it over. Really? Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh snap. Yep. yep. Got some rev in the house, Heck baby. Yeah. <laughs> right on. <laughs> All right. So I, th I think I'm up maybe 10, 12 buttons. Nice. Um, there's some, some can up there, but not a, not a ton of trash so far. You know, random stuff, but mostly everything has been a button. So I got them out of the way for you. You can go pull a silver. All right then. <laughs> <laughs> Mark's very first signal. He got a button, little tiny one. It's got something on, but we can't tell what it was. I got a signal here right around 70. I was like, oh, this should be a dandy button. I already flipped it out. Now it's a 73. And it's either a dandy or a copper. I'm fine with a dandy copper. I don't see no shankage. I don't see much for details yet either. I think it's going to be an old copper though. Yep, it's got the weight of a copper. Let me clean it up. Hopefully I can get an ID. Second copper of the day and the year. Woohoo! Well, peep it in the 70s. I can guarantee that's an old British copper of some sort. It's got some blackness on both sides, which usually is indicative of fire damage. So, could be a coin that was in a, in a fire. Either way, it doesn't have enough details for me to figure out what it was. But it is an old copper coin. Hopefully Mark finds the silver one. That should definitely have details, and I just dropped it. That's how it was lost in the first place. But they didn't have metal detectors back then. <laughs> I just live dug a memorial right there. Swung over this, I was like, oh, here's a bottle cap. Watch it be a copper. And guess what? It's a copper, not a bottle cap. <laughs> Daggone. Nice. There's only live digging when they're over 80. I think we have some, some meat on that. Uh, that almost looks like it's been banged up a little bit. Should be thinking up to have an ID. <laughs> live dig two memorials and then don't live dig a bottle cap signal and <laughs> bang, another copper. Well, it looks like somebody was hacking at this coin with a knife or something. It's got all these dimples all over it. Uh, to me, I do see a faint outline of a bust. It looks mostly like a King George II to me. So that's what we're going to call it. KG2. That's been all hacked up. Whatever American was here was tired of British rule. I like it. And also like my third copper in the year. Woohoo! It's always cool when you pop up a plug and you see part of an impression. I was like, oh! Coin or button or something. It was kind of deep. You can see it down here. Button. The two piece? Uh oh, something's on this. Is it a sportsman's button? It is a sportsman's button. That's cool, these are 1840s. Let me figure out what animal that is and I'll be right back, I can't tell. I'm actually not sure what kind of animal that is. Maybe some sort of caribou or something. But old sportsman's button, these are 1840s. They have with all kinds of different animals on them, birds, dogs, deers, elephants, you name it. Always a cool find, and these are early two-piece buttons. This one's kind of flattened out, but it is a two-piece. Very good. Well, we're just walking back to the vehicles to empty our sacks full of can slaw. But uh, right behind Mark, about 12 feet, is where I dug that first hole, the first copper of the day. And this is definitely going to be another coin. It's 8081. I'm assuming it's going to be another copper. It might have a silver finish. I hope it's a shiny one. How about a two reals, globes and pillars? Alright, down into the hole. Be something shiny down there. Be something shiny. Alright, we're gonna have to do the pop. Be shine. You're gonna see it's on the side of the dirt. You see right. it? Yeah, right here. Oh, there it is. Definitely a copper. <laughs> Can't make that up. Has some details. The first one has some details. Uh, uh, don't know yet. I think I'm going to get an ID on it, but 
I need more hands. Oh, I have both my hands. <laughs> I need a brush. I'll be right back with an ID, hopefully. Well, I definitely wish it had a little more details, but I do have a positive identification. At first, I thought it was a KG2, and then I saw that weird little nose right there, and then the C over here. It's a Connecticut copper. Got me a state copper. Reverse. You can barely make out the lady on the back. That's actually coming through a little bit better now that it's drying up. But got me a Connecticut copper, 12 feet from my KG3 this morning. So they had gold gilted buttons, plenty of coppers. Where are their silver coins? They have to be here. They don't have to be, but I mm. <sighs> need more silver in my life. I didn't find enough silver last year. Well, all morning we've been working on that side of the driveway over by the old house, but there's a nice little knoll over here that I've had my eye on. First signal on this side of the drive. I was like, oh, 70s. It's gonna be a flappy copper or a dandy button. Out flops a small scent. It's gotta be the first Indian of the year. Yes, sir! I've been looking for you. Be a 77. <laughs> I don't think so. First IHP of the new year. Let's see if I can get a correct date. Hey, look, a coin you could almost make out what it was. I knew I saw a 7 on it. It's an 1887. Not terrible. Both sides. Reverse ain't too bad at all, actually. I love me an Indian. Also means I finally get to kiss something today, or I should say this year. First time I've seen Lady Liberty. It's our third hunt of the year and our first Indian. It's never taken this long before. I don't think so in the past, but we got her. Hopefully there's some more on this little knoll. Mark's digging a high turn there, but where he's standing, he just dug himself a sportsman's button. Looks like he's got some sort of walrus or something <laughs> like that. It'd be funny if these are liver, 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 livery, livery buttons. I can't talk. Liverly. Liverly, <laughs> livery buttons. They, they smell livery. They look like sportsman's buttons to me. You got your, you know, it's in the plug, you got it. It was a 77, 78 yep. on the max. Low 20s on the Knox. Give monkey a coin, come on. Uh -oh. oh no, you fall, your ten point is dying. It is. At least you know where it is now. It's in there. <laughs> huh? Get the D? No. No? A piece of lead or something? A D? Huh? It is a little D. D. Congratulations. Thanks. Your day can officially begin yeah. now that you got the little D. <laughs> got her done. <laughs> <laughs> Here's your button. Thanks. Old stuff. Hi right, Boots, what's going on here? 22 mostly? Yeah, 22, 23. Another D buckle? We're getting close to Bottle Cap Alley, I don't know bro. Huh. Come on, how about a copper? Muck needs a copper in his life. <laughs> you got it, don't second guess yourself bro. Never second guess myself. <laughs> Not when digging. You guys already know what to prove on that one. In the grass. Bottle cap. It, no? Is it little? Yeah. Right there, <gasps> silver. Is that a silver? Uh -huh. You, don't you laugh at me. Uh -huh. <laughs> it is a silver, dude. Uh -huh. <laughs> right? <laughs> I guess you need some food, huh? Tiny. Yep. I knew if anybody was going to do it, you were going to do it. going to knock the big stuff off. And you just did it. I'm sure it's a Spaniard. The What's sun like came out. Half the hour or something. I'm sure. I mean, about that size. You don't need to be. We're about to find out. What is that? I don't want to rub on it just yet. There's a rub on it. Yeah, it's a little half real, bro. Yes, Hell <laughs> yeah. I don't, know if I, was, I don't know if you could see that. My thumb was shading it. We will finish filling it up because it's all sticky. And we'll do a close up. Good that. job, man. I knew there was one here. <laughs> I had faith in you, Mucky. It is a Spanish silver coin. It is a Carlos the Fourth, King Charles the Fourth. It's weird. It's like one of the transition ones because it's got like the King King Charles the Third bust. It is a 1789. I had to loop it to get the uh, the date. It is an 89. Beautiful little Spaniard silver. Mark's first Spaniard on the year. I got mine a few days ago. It is a sight for sore eyes. I knew there was some shiny in this field, which always makes the drive home better. Thank you.
Where's stuff. Where's all the rest of your stuff? That's it. I'm running a little where's behind. your buttons? You got a few buttons in there. I'm running a little behind. What is this? Tom back with a nice back rim. Yeah, it's it's I got me a bus at Tommy back. Is that a Tommy back? Yes, sir. Oh, nice. Yep. Yeah, it's an early field, bro. Yeah, I like it. Congrats on the shine. Thank you. Well, that me another coin. I think so, anyway. I just see a rim. I thought it was going to be a big piece of iron, and I was getting like a falsy high tone next to it, but apparently not. Because I see that, and that looks like a coin rim. It looks kind of big, though. Yeah, I guess it's right copper size. Yeah, got me a copper. This one's beeping kind of higher. Hopefully it's maybe U.S. or just a thicker coin. Don't know yet. Let's see it beeps now. 82. First U.S. large set of the year. Heck yeah. We have a Drape Bust large set. It is in 1807. I think that's the last year for the Drape Bust. It's a fairly thick coin. I'm surprised the, the details, the relief is so shallow on it. I mean, I almost thought it was a last year lib cap because I almost saw edge lettering but definitely a drape bust I love these coins absolutely love them definitely giving you a kiss where are your shiny friends I need old US silver in my life I need it what are you doing oh boy is another shiny one you wouldn't do that to me would you yeah I, if I could yes you what <laughs> right you think you know a mucker I mean a guy. <laughs> Trying to keep it in between the uh, how, how about you get your first copper of the day? How about another silver? I like the sound of that. You gotta get five coppers so you can get another silver. Copper right there. There is a copper right there. How Good job, that? buddy. Pop right out. Yeah, yeah. Half cent? It might be. Looks like half cent size to me. See you guys half cent. Or it's a clad quarter. Nah, ain't no clad quarter out here in this field. I <laughs> did get a couple of memorials earlier. Gotta be you want to put some meat on that? I got to take my rubber gloves off. You want to put meat on it? <laughs> it's a half cent. Oh. I think I see stars. I want to say it's a classic head. I believe you got a classic head half cent, bro. I like it. Heck yeah. Some <laughs> with some details. Congrats. <laughs> In fact, it is what we thought it was. Classic head half cent. Unfortunately, it's got some schmuck and schmooze right there <laughs> where the last digit is. I think it's an 1817, I had to loop it. But US half cent, second old US coin on the day. And these don't come up too very often. He said the last one he found was digging with a bob in the river. Yep. So you knew that was a long time ago. Oh yeah. But I will say this place is loaded. <laughs> it's been a long time since we got on a field this hot, especially with this many coins in it and this many buttons. I was, I was excited to have a good button day today and oh, yeah. now the coins are showing up to the party. It was definitely nice to get on a property, a colonial property that was definitely untouched. It's been a while since we've been on a virgin property like that. And uh, it was nice to fill up the board with stuff other than flim flam. Definitely a healthy board. And there wasn't a ton of trash there. I mean, there's random cans, but like the, between like the cans and stuff, there wasn't that much other stuff. Like you got no signal, it was old or a piece of can. So that was, that was nice as well. But, uh, Here's the muck stuff. What you got up there? You got your one little weedy? Oh yeah. Candlestick thing, maybe a drawer pull. Uh, one of those, bridal piece. And you got on a bunch of buttons. You started off your, your day a little slow with the buttons. What is that? I'm not 100% sure, it looked like a broken no, buckle. It's a, yeah, it's a broken horse tack buckle. Yeah. Any fancy buttons? You did get the one sportsman's button. Was that a seal or something? <laughs> it looks something like, it. like that. There's his first button, a little tiny one that almost looked like it had something. I think he went strong again. Got his third ring of the year. This one's brass. You got a lock slide and a drape bust. Capped. <laughs> Let me try that again. A classic head half cent. I believe it's 1817. And he got the Spanish silver on the day. I would have loved to noon what this came off of or found more of it definitely an eagle wing of some sort there I don't think it was a breastplate don't think it was a breastplate maybe a rosette or something but there's my lead I got some chain link I got the D we both got the D some clad I got one weedy I got a bunch of buttons did not count them uh, some fancy buttons gold gilt convex and the sportsman's button whatever that animal was did get my first Indian on the year. Don't want to show that yet. Ended up with five coppers. I think 
before a Mackin ID. That's the one that was in the fire. I got a burnt up button too. But KG3, I believe this was a KG2, the Connecticut Copper, and the Drape Bust. But finding the day, Revolutionary War, beautiful anchor button. And I haven't eaten today. That's why my mind isn't working. You need to fuel the brain. So I'm going to go home and do that. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time, help clean up the ground, dig it all, and take your trash with you. Why? Because all holes matter. Yeah, I'm going to eat my, my breakfast and lunch and all that stuff for dinner. But that was, that was a, a fun little day right there. Yes, sir. Look at that. I'm pretty sure that's a candlestick holder. Candlestick holder? Yeah. Certainly could be. Yep. I got 80 I want to live dig. All right. Live drinks, take one for the day. Dead 80. I'm hoping it's a copper. I have found a debuckle or two today so far, but I'm thinking it's going to be a, a cop. Of course, this bottle cap alley as well. Okay. Definitely shallow. Okay, sounds that good. Small set? It is a small set. I thought it was going to be... Bigger than that. Kind of Bigger than like that. It. I guess it was so shallow. It's a, it's a memorial. Yeah, all right. You had to get that uh, that kind of footage. Up to three cents a day. Memorial weedy and two half cents. Half... Pennies. Pennies. Yeah. Yeah, different than <laughs> cents. It's cold. Bye. Muck apparently has something... Another button. The button or uh, is it copper? Uh, that's, that's a button. button. All right. That's probably the biggest button of the day. Yeah. You got anchor on your urns? No. You didn't no. get no anchor? No, no anchor, I don't believe. No anchor love? Uh maybe there's a boat on it. A boat? <laughs> you ain't got nothing. Nothing.